Okay, guys, welcome. Um, I know this is kind of a call at a different time than we normally have our calls, but um, I have Rachel with us today, and I'm really excited. We have never done anything like this before. Um, Rachel is an elite eight-star diamond coach, success club legend, diet technician, nutrition specialist, five years extended uh, certifications in fitness, including NASM, which I'm NASM, I'm sure you guys have heard of, it's like personal training, ACE, NSTA, and I'm reading this from her like amazing list of accolades. She's on the board of the California Healthy Kids Program and the California Dairy Council. So, um, and I actually remember not too long ago, I was on a call with you, Rachel, and you were saying you, or maybe was a, something you posted on the wall that you were like a big skeptic when someone presented you with psychology. And yeah. here you are like rocking this business. So I know you have a ton of information to share with us about um, what it's done for you. So I will let you take it away. All right. Now, if I have anything stuck in my teeth, you guys have to let me know. No, you're good. I don't mm -hmm. see anything. Okay. Because I just got done eating like this. It, it does. It was not like it was not something you would take a picture and post on Facebook because it kind of looks gross. But you know, sometimes like this food that does not look the greatest is actually the best tasting. Anyways, that's how this was with this dish. But um, so just to kind of give you guys a little background, I've been a coach for just over two years. I just um, I just hit my two year anniversary, which I was really excited about in August and um. Yes, I was not a believer in Shakeology. I was not, I didn't even really care to know what Shakeology was, to be honest. I, um, in 2008, I'll give you guys a little backstory. So in 2008, we had moved to Southern California. And prior to that, when I had the twins, um, my husband and I did P90X. Well, let me rephrase that. We started out, both of us, doing P90X. He finished doing P90X. I finished just doing my like workouts that I would do. I have a home gym and so I would do my thing and he would do his thing. But he loved, loved P90X. I didn't love it so much, but that was just me. Moved out here and one night on TV, I saw um, something from, we lived in Oregon, just to let you know where we moved from. I was born and raised in Oregon, went to Oregon State. So um, moved out here to Southern California and I was up one night and I saw something with Sean T and I was like, Oh, he's cute. Yeah. And I watched a little bit, <laughs> watched a little longer. And I'm like, Oh, I could work out to him. Like, <laughs> Oh, I wonder if he takes off his shirt. <laughs> I don't think like, things are going through my head. So I ordered insanity and I absolutely loved it. And within a few weeks of having insanity, um, I was getting on to what is now like what is now social media, but was called the Wowie Gym, and it was basically a blog board, and you would go log into your Team Beachbody website, and you would go into your Wowie Gym, and you were assigned a coach or a trainer, and based upon like your level and like how often, like what you want, what your goals were, they kind of assigned you. Basically, I'm sure they just randomly assigned you a coach. And, um, we would go into there and we would, you know, log in and we would log in our workouts and I'm going to go do my workout and you would hit go on the thing, like on the computer and you go work out and come back and tell everybody how it was. Okay. So I was like, okay, and I would go and do this and come back and go and come back. Well, one day somebody called me from this blog board and, um, it was Christine Dreyer and she asked me if I would like to, they're rolling out this whole thing. She's like, you're really active for this Wowie page. Would you be, would you consider being a coach? And I'm like, oh no, I'm, I'm not interested in that. I, I just, I like doing it. I said, actually, I, I am a certified um, fitness instructor. I'm also a certified ACE instructor. She's like, oh, well, great. You'd be really great at this. Would you sure you wouldn't consider? I'm like, no, I just really love doing the workouts and I'm really happy just doing what I do. Fast forward two years. Um, not as active, excuse me, on the blogging boards, but every once in a while I would jump on there just to kind of see, you know, cause I kind of pulled away from, I was going to school, finishing out my degree and really wanting really to just focus on my work and my, just building my, my, um, my nutrition and my practice. And so I wasn't really spending as much time with doing the beach body programs, but I was doing stuff outside of the house and, um, 2010, I get another call. And they're telling me 
it was, uh, I want to say it was Scotty Hops, but it could have been, it actually could have been like Dave Ward. I'm just, I'm not sure who it was 100% now, but they called to talk to me about Shakeology. And I'll never forget because I was my kids, I was taking them to school and I was getting their shoes out of the, you know, the linen closet and I'm answering the phone and they're like, yeah, I really want to talk to you about this meal replacement we got coming out. This is, you know, so-and-so from Beachbody. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, listen, I eat real food and I am about four months out from getting my degree as a, um, as a dietitian technician and, and a nutrition uh, nutrition nutrition specialist. I'm like, I have no interest in fake food. Thank you. But good luck. You know, and that's pretty much how I felt about the whole stuff. I thought it was fake. I thought it was not something that our bodies really needed. Um, there are a dime a dozen out there. There are so many, so many products out there that it absolutely drives me nuts. Um, and people just buy stuff. They buy the whatever is the fastest or what they think is going to be the fastest fix. They want band-aids. They don't want real solutions. Um, and when you do try to offer them a total solution, it's, it's almost debilitating because that total solution is like, well, how long is it going to take? Oh, wait a second. You mean I actually have to work at this? Oh, forget it. I ain't doing it. And so to me, this was one of those products. So fast forward now two years, well, actually that was 2010. So we're looking at now 2013 going into 2014. Um, one of my girlfriends calls me, this is mid February end of end of, no, I missed the end of July, January, first part of February, calls me and is like, hey, I have um, breast cancer. And I'm like, what? And she's like, yeah, don't be alarmed. I've had it for like a year and a half now. I just haven't said anything to anybody, but had it in remission for about a year. And I just went in for some testing and they found a spot on my spine um, and they found a spot on my femur. And it's stage four. Basically, there's no cure for me. So I'm going to have a fight on my hands. And like, uh, okay. And I'm like totally blubbering in a total mess. And she just says, hey, listen, listen. I went through this before. I need your help. I need a meal replacement. Um, when I go in for chemo radiation, I get really, really sick. And my body doesn't absorb anything. And I bloat. And I, I turn into this big balloon. And I retain water. And I gain a ton of weight. And I cannot go through that again. She was like, that alone will kill me. So I need your help. So I said, let me figure out something. Let me figure out a plan for you. So I called my friend who's got a, a superfood company out here. And I said, Sean, I need bilberries. I need asaya. I need goji. I need a way isolate. I need something that's going to put her in a place where she's going to be getting nutrition. And he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. first of all, it's going to taste like shit. Second of all, it's going to cost like $600. So tell me exactly what it is that you want. And I will try to make that happen for you. So I told him what was going on. And I said, here's the situation. And he said, um, he said, well, if that's what you want, then you should call Darren Aline. Okay. So Darren Aline in our industry is a dietetic, um, a nutrition specialist is kind of like, Brad Pitt in the movie industry. We all knew who Darren Oline was. He was brilliant. He is brilliant. Um, but in my mind, I'm like, did he sell himself out to like that multi-level marketing company? I don't know. I think he's with some company that does like, I don't know. I saw, I, I saw his product. Isn't that his super life stuff? He had like, he had this whole line prior to Beachbody. It was all super line, super food, super this, super life. And um, he's like, yeah, he goes, it's, it's still the same stuff. He goes, it's just been there. He's collaborated with a uh, multi-level marketing company that has a workout program attached to it. I'm like, yeah, I'm not interested in that. He's like, but this isn't for you. So what difference does it make? He's like, the product's going to be good and it's not for you. Then what do you care? You're trying to help your friend. That's the whole point. Right. I'm like, yes. He's like, okay, so call Darren Ali. I was like, forget it. I'm just going to look into it. So I did. I looked into it. I got onto the um, Academy of Dietitians and Nutritionists website, and I learned that Shakeology was actually, um, it was approved by the Academy, not as a weight loss supplement, but as a meal replacement. So it's very important to know that going in, that Shakeology is not approved um, by the Academy of Dietitians and Nutritionists or even approved by doctors as a weight loss supplement, but it is approved as a meal replacement. So I looked into it further and I said, great. So I got my girlfriend started on it and I wasn't a coach, didn't sign up to be a coach, didn't have any desire to be a coach whatsoever. Um, but I got her started and got her plugged in to, um, 
she got herself a bag of Shakeology. She really liked it. I wrote her a meal plan. I replaced one meal a day, included Shakeology into it, um, and just kind of kept track of her um, as I would any of my patients. And at that time, I was building not only at the hospital, but I also was starting my own home practice. So I was kind of following along with her um, until about, I want to say it was April, first part of April, I get a call from OHSU, which is a big hospital um, and learning facility up in Portland, Oregon. And her oncologist called me and said, this is Dr. So-and-so. Um, you've been working with a so-and-so patient of mine. And I just want to commend you on the amazing work that you've been doing with her. Because for the last year and a half, we've been trying to isolate um, this tumor that's in and around her, her spinal cord. And it's kind of wrapped intricately around the spinal cord. And we weren't able to get to it. But we were able to... He goes, she's been working with you. That's the only thing that's changed. Not only has she dropped 25 to 30 pounds, which she should be gaining weight because we're forcing her into menopause and she should be gaining weight hand over fist, but she's losing weight. She's got a ton of energy and the free radicals in her system have moved away from the tumor and we're able to get in there and radiate. So I was like, wow. And he's like, anyways, he goes, I have four more patients for you if you can handle the workload. Bring them on. And I'll never forget that day because I'm sitting in there going, wow, like, that was kind of crazy. Like, first of all, to have a doctor from OHSU call me, and second of all, for him to go through the clinical stuff that's going on with her, and, and for him to, to make the connection that it was working with her diet and working with what we were doing with Shakeology and implementing this. So again, guys, still was not a coach. Had zero interest in even understanding. I didn't even really put the two and two together. It wasn't until later that I did. Um, but I knew that it was part of some kind of network marketing company, but just had zero interest. It was not on my radar, didn't even care, kept just plugging along doing what I do. End of April, my cousin posts something on Facebook and she posts something up about these portion size containers and she's got all these like color things all over her picture and she's saying something about how she's really going to do it this time. And I'm like, what in the heck are you really going to do? When I called her, I'm like, what are you doing? First of all, I'm your cousin. And why didn't you call me? You need help with your, your diet and nutrition. Why didn't you give me a call? And second of all, like, what are you doing? And why are you posting it on social media? And so she said, no, I'm really excited. I'm doing this container program. You would really like it. It's really healthy. And I'm like, who's going to be cooking for you? Because this girl can't cook. And like, who's cooking this stuff for you? And she's like, oh, I've got her husband's on board and they're really going to do it. She's like, when you get here, because I was coming for spring break, she goes, when you get here, I'll show you. You're going to love this program. I'm like, yeah, whatever. I was mad that she didn't call me in the first place. And I thought, what the heck? And then I see this girl, her name's Steph Davies. I see this girl posting on her wall, my cousin's wall. Hey, girl, how you, how you doing with your program? You know, you're going to do so great, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, who is this chick? And so I just started watching, didn't do anything, just watched, um, came to Portland. My cousin lays out all this stuff for 21 day fix, right? The containers and the workouts and the recipes and all these downloads. And she pulls out the bag of Shakeology. And I was like, wait a second, <laughs> like, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I'm like, I finally made the connection that it was, this is what it was. And I'm like, so and I started looking more into it as it was a total solution. It wasn't just some kind of like high in the sky thing that like you take this thing and you don't, you know, you just drink this thing and pounds are going to, you know, melt off of you. So I started watching and watching and watching. And my friend requested Steph Davies because her and I started kind of chatting a little bit here and there. Um, and this was end of April going into May. And I watched. And I watched and I learned a lot about Shakeology and what Shakeology was and what it wasn't. And so by the time I got back to Portland at the end of July for our summer trip with my kids, my girlfriend, who is also friends with Steph Davies and my cousin who's friends with Steph Davies, my cousin had quit the program. Like you have to understand, my cousin does not stay committed to anything to save her life. So I'm surprised she's still married. Love her, love her to, dear, to death, but like, come on. I knew she wasn't going to stay with it because it actually takes work. It takes commitment. You had to like actually show up every day and do the workouts and change your eating habits and really make those changes. And that's the hardest part, right? Like that's what takes, that's why the accountability is so important. And so, um, so I started following what Steph was doing and I never really let anybody knew that I know that I was following along. So my friend said, she's going to go meet with somebody. We we're going to take our kids miniature golfing. She was like, yeah, I'm going to be late. 
She's like, I'm going to go meet with somebody. And she goes, you know, if my meeting goes really well with this person, I really want to talk to you about it. Cause I think that it would be something that, that you would really, um, you would really like, but I, I'm going to go meet with her first. And I said, are you going to go meet with that Steph Davies chick? Because if you're going to go meet with that Steph Davies chick, I want to come with you. And she was like, first of all, how did you know I was going to meet with Steph Davies? And second of all, yes, I am. And you really want to come? And I was like, yeah, I want to come. I actually have a couple of people that I think I want to sign up. And oh, by the way, I'll be a coach. And she was just like, wait a second. Like, she didn't have to ask me because I watched long enough to know. And this is something that I want you guys all to know. I was actually talking to my team about this a couple of days ago. If you want a professional on your team, you've got to show up and show up hard. You can't just expect that, you know, you're, you're going to just, all of a sudden people are going to pour on into you. This is a business of health. It's a business of, um, it, it's not even so much about fitness. It's really about people's health. And in order to have that, that people, that loyalty, you've got to be consistent enough to where you're building trust. And that trust is going to then turn into influence. If you want true influence in the marketplace, you have to be consistent enough with your with your posting, with your sharing, and it does not have to be transformations, you guys. It just has to be consistent and, and add value to them. Um, so now let's talk a little about Shakeology. So you know that my journey with Shakeology was not something where I was like, oh yes, let's do it. So when I started utilizing Shakeology, how my business grew to, I mean, I was 10 star diamond within a, not even, well, not 10 stars. I was eight, seven star diamond within 10 months. So I, I was five star diamond. I signed up in, I signed up in August. So August 5th was my sign up date and I went five star diamond in June. So by, so June I went five star diamond. Then I was, I can look cause I've got them on the wall. Uh, and then September I went Okay, so it was September 3rd, I went six star, and then September 24th, I went seven star. So it was just after, so basically five star and then seven star was um, just after that first month. So within that first month, I became qualified. Um, so within 12 months, I was a qualified uh, seven star diamond. Um, and I think total now I have over 12 diamonds total in my downline. But let me explain to you what happened. So I basically came on and said I was going to do these challenge groups, right? I run my business, I think, a little different than Jillian does because mine is nutrition-based and it is all about my challenge groups. And if you're in my challenge group, you are with me And because my best coaches come from my challenge groups. You're not going to come into my challenge group and not walk away with a success story because and this was my motto. You come into my challenge groups, you're going to walk away with success story. You're going to walk away with a, a transformation. If it's not a physical transformation, it's a mental transformation. It's a transformation that you're going to be able to create a ripple effect in somebody else's life. And that's pretty much where my base comes from. Shakeology, how it works and what it does in the system was what was the glue to my challenge groups. So when someone takes Shakeology, let's say you're, you're like, okay, I want to lose 15 to 20 pounds. You can't just say to someone, and this is where a lot of beach body coaches mess up because they don't realize that it's not a weight loss. It's, it's not going to help you lose weight unless every other step of the process is put into place. So Shakeology, how it works is when you, when you take in Shakeology, how our bodies today are are taking in foods. We are losing between 30 and 40% of nutrients every single day. Farm to table, you lose between 30 and 40%. That is an actual national statistic. Even if it's a, uh, coming in um, organic foods, you will lose between 30 and 40%. Why? Because when you bring in your foods, you put them out on your grocery store, okay? And you, you ever see those water things that get sprayed on your groceries? Do you ever wonder what those are? Anyone have any idea? What that is it's not pesticides or anything like that but it is sugar water and it is salt water salt sugar preserves so when you when you're spraying it out in a very beautiful mist over the top of your your um you're spraying it out over the top of your vegetables and not so much fruit because fruit usually has a casing over the top but for sure your vegetables your greens your reds 
you are getting, and that's why if you ever buy baby carrots, hello, they're all packed in water, right? They're all packed in water. And if you ever opened up those baby carrots and let them sit in your refrigerator after the water's drained out of the bag and then you let them sit in your refrigerator for a couple days and maybe there's a little air getting to them, what happens to those carrots? We've seen them get like dry and kind of like pruny on the outside. Okay, yeah. it's because what happens is now you're taking away the thing that's preserving them, right? But they can sit on that store shelf. They can sit on that store shelf untouched for months, for a month, up to a month. They can sit there untouched and never have anything happen to them because they're packed in that sugar water. The minute you take that away from them, they start to dehydrate and they start to lose their value. So farm to table, you lose between 30 and 40%. Let's look at the industry of food. Let's look at what we do inside, what we put in our bodies. Okay. And this is going to be kind of raw for you guys. I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, are you like kidding me? But this is the truth. And this is something that I teach very, very diligently in my groups because they have to understand what and why Shakeology works. So let's talk about going out to a restaurant, just any old restaurant. Let's just say you're not even a fast food restaurant. We're not going to get to that yet. Let's just say you're going out to a nice dinner, okay? And you order yourself a salad and you think you're, you're being pretty healthy. Most people don't realize that a salad is actually worse for you than a steak. You're better off having a steak than you are having a salad because by the time you get your salad, you're into it for 1,500 calories. You're into it for between 22 and 23 grams of fat, and you've only had your salad. You haven't had your full-on protein. You haven't had your fruits. I mean, depending on what kind of salad you have, you're having a chef salad, you're hoping that you're getting, you're getting it all. But nine times out of 10, you're not eating just a salad. And if you're eating your salad, and your salad is 1,500 calories, that's all of your day's nutrients. And people forget one calorie or one gram of fat is nine calories. You guys, calories are not created equal. So one unit of energy is one calorie. So if one gram of fat is equal to nine calories and dressing is basically all fat, you, you've got to weigh out where you wanna get your protein source if you're getting a piece of meat, or you're getting a piece of chicken, or you're getting a piece of fish, it is a pure, a more pure protein, where then you can add grilled vegetables to it. You can add yourself a piece of fruit to it, and you're gonna have a lot less calories, and you're gonna get a lot more bang for your buck. But people don't order it that way, and people aren't always on top of it that way. If you go to McDonald's today, opposed to McDonald's 10 years ago, or even 15 years ago, it's a whole lot different Happy Meal than it was 10 or 15 years ago. When I was a kid, if my dad ruled us through McDonald's and we got ourselves a Happy Meal, it was an actual small burger with an actual real meat patty. And your fries, when you got a small fry, they were small fry. It was like 15, maybe 20 fr French fries that were in that small little fry thing. It's not like that anymore. And furthermore, the amount of preservatives, salt, while people don't have to, the FDA does not require restaurants or labeling companies, food manufacturers to say that there are preservatives. You can actually say that food is, there's no preservatives in this. It's all natural, no preservatives. And have it still have more salt than our body needs in one day in one of their sausages. Auntie Annie's a perfect example of that. Auntie Annie's, you go to Costco, you flip it over, the package says no preservatives, all natural. But then you look around the back of it, and it, each one sausage, one of those little sausage, chicken, apple chicken sausages or whatever, has 852 milligrams of salt. Salt, my friends, is a preservative, but because it's an actual mineral, the FDA does not allow, they don't, they don't check mark them. They don't make them count salt as a preservative. But salt is a preservative. It's how we preserve a lot of our food. Salt, sugar, those are, made, those are main preservatives. So... I did this, uh, this little uh, project as I went about six years ago, just to prove it to my kids and to the PE class that I was teaching at the school, I went and I got a Happy Meal and let it sit in the tool shed of the school the entire year. Never touched it, didn't do anything with it, just let it sit there. There is no mold. There was no discoloration. The only thing that was a little discolored was the actual bun, but there was no mold on the meat. 
The cheese could pull apart and it looked like play food. And each one of those French fries felt like they, they if you could put them out, it would be like a, a bag of sticks. There was no change in the fries. There was no change in the density of the fries, except for the ones that were really soggy already. They were a little bit like, they kind of had a like, little wrinkling to them. But for the most part, they all looked like fresh cut fries. There was no change to the food and there was no change to the meat. I left it in there over the summer, came back the next year, was teaching that year PE. I said, hey guys, let's take a look at this. And I ended up giving it to the fifth grade um, teacher. And I said, you know what, you should keep this as a science project for your kids. I think that'd be really interesting for them to see what has happened. Now, now we're into it for a year, still no change. So think about that. That's what we eat. That's what, as a society, as a nation, and this isn't like any, I'm not trying to put anybody down. I'm trying to spread awareness and let you guys know that this is what we eat. So if our bodies are taking in less nutrients, farm to table, if our bodies are taking in foods that are now having higher levels of, of um, processing, higher levels of sodium, higher levels of dyes, colors, and all sorts of different additives that our bodies have not and do not know how to ingest, what happens? IBS, irritable bowel, let's talk about some Crohn's. I have an idea, let's talk about some allergies that have been going on. I mean, has anybody ever heard of how many food allergies we have, gluten intolerance that we have today in our country that we never had 10 or 15 years ago? Does anybody ever question it? Why aren't people saying, excuse me, why do we have this problem in the United States? No other country but the United States has this problem. When you have a baby, the baby takes Infamil or takes, you know, some type of milk, whether it's breast milk or it's formula. And then when you start to wean the baby at six or seven months, you give the baby one thing, like you start the baby off with, you know, okay, let's going to give this, the baby just a spoonful of bananas or whatever, whatever the simplest food is that you start the baby off on, and you go that five, seven days. If there's no food interactions, you go on to the next food. If the next food has an interaction, you pull back, and you say, okay, the baby's digestive system's not ready. Let's wait to introduce anything else, and let's just go back to the one thing that we know is working, and intermix that, maybe rice milk or whatever it is, with, with whatever, until the baby's digestive system is ready to tolerate something else. But we don't do that as adults. We just shove whatever we want in our mouth, and expect it's all gonna work. Oh, we're adults, we can do that. Well, what about all the new additives and preservatives that our bodies, our body's digestive system doesn't know what to do with it? Because it's never been experienced, it's never been exposed, it's never had to ingest this before. So it eats away at our stomach lining, it eats away at our body's ability to digest the food. So Shakeology and how it's formulated is the, the digestive enzymes, the probiotics, the prebiotics are in, Shakeology, it's why you have to drink it within the first 30 minutes, okay, because it has live cultures in there. If you don't drink it within the first 30 minutes, you are probably causing yourself a little added gas that your body does not need, okay? So first 30 minutes, drink your Shakeology. It goes in and it adds back in to your body the proper amount of prebiotics, probiotics, which is what we need for proper gut health, adds into our body's digestive system, the, I, the digestive enzymes that it needs to properly break down the food the way that our bodies were designed to digest food. And through this process, as it goes in and starts breaking things down and getting the vitamins and minerals out to our body like it's supposed to, the circulatory system during digestion surrounds the body. So this is no matter if you're drinking Shakeology or whether or not you're eating a cheeseburger from McDonald's. Your body's digestive system, okay, starts to do its job. The body's circulatory system, which is on the outer layer, it's what it's the it's where you, how your blood flows through your body is through the body's circulatory system. And in the circulatory system is how your muscles get fed vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. So vitamins and minerals and nutrients to your muscles. So blood, because that's part of your circulatory system, that your circulatory system is what carries the blood um, to your major muscle groups and organs. So blood to your muscles through your circulatory system is like food to your stomach. It's the only way your muscles and your organs get fed your the blood, we get fed, fed the nutrients is through the circulatory system, through the blood supply. So digestion is happening, circulatory system is going to do its job, and if the digestive system is not properly supported, okay, 
your body is only get, gonna take out what goes, what's liquid, whatever's liquid first, whatever the digestive system can let out first, okay? So let's say you weren't drinking Shakeology. There wasn't a good establishment of digestive enzymes, prebiotics, and probiotics, okay? But you just ate whatever you ate. You ate um, a normal meal, a burger, uh, maybe it was an all lean burger, whatever it was, and you had some sweet potato fries and um, you had a little hummus and some carrots, whatever it was. Let's just say it was, it was healthy. Let's say it was particularly healthy. And you weren't on Shakeology. Your body now is going in, it's going to have to digest the food, right? It's going to break down using the, whatever your digestive system has for enzymes, prebiotics, and probiotics, it break down the food. But whatever is going to go out first, is going to be lipid because that's the only thing that comes in fat or it comes in liquid. So think about when you are, has anyone ground like ground beef? Anyone ever used ground beef before? Anyone? Anyone ever made a steak in a pan? Like made a I, steak? I, we use ground turkey mostly now because my husband has some cholesterol issues, but I love beef. <laughs> okay. Or even a steak, like a pan fried yeah. steak. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So when the steak is hot and you take it out of the pan, the liquid that's left in the pan is, it, it just looks like clear liquid until it cools. When it cools down, what does that liquid turn into? Have you guys ever looked back in the pan? Like have you guys ever tried to wash? Right? Yeah. It's, it's like solid. It's like, it's, it's like a white, filmy, disgusting, if it gets on your sponge, forget about it, throw away your sponge because yeah. like you can't get it off. And you're not supposed <laughs> to put it on your disposal, right? No, because yeah, it's like it clogs. Yeah. Yeah. Because it'll clog up your, your disposal. So think about that going out into your digest going out to your circulatory system first. Because your body doesn't have the right amount of digestive enzymes, prebiotics, and probiotics. Because that's exactly what happens. As your body cools throughout the day, as it rests, the blood supply doesn't necessarily lower, but it's not circulating as fast. So it, it's, it's what your body's supposed to do at rest. So when that cools and that's inside your body, it also starts clogging up, kind of like clogging up, gunking up the works, right? It's what happens when your circulatory system and the cells inside your circulatory system don't flow as evenly. You start to have issues with heart disease. You start to have issues with joint pain. You start to have um, your joints kind of start to click, right? Because there's it's blockages that are inside of your circulatory your cell system that is not getting to your vitamin, you're not getting your vitamins and minerals to your major muscle groups and organs, period. That is how the whole system works. So Shakeology goes in and, and supports that gut health. You guys, everything, everything that we do, every single thing that we do starts with your food, your nutrients. Um, so you really have to share with people when you're sharing about Shakeology, how it works. It is supports the digestive system, with the prebiotics, probiotics, digestive enzymes, it gives your body its entire daily nutrients in one in one serving, basically. You're getting all of the nutrients that you need in one serving. So what it does for your body is it gives your body the optimum amount of resources to properly digest your food, properly give your body the nutrients that it needs to support a healthy digestive system. When your digestive system is healthy and strong and doing what it's supposed to do, your vitamins, minerals, and nutrients are going out to your major muscle groups and organs. That is sending receptors to your brain, your pituitary gland, which is in your brain, that you are satiated, that you are full, and that you are no longer hungry. And that lasts a little while. That lasts about two or three or four hours to where you're feeling hunger again. And then when you're feeling hungry again, this is where people kind of mess up. They're like, oh, well, I had my Shakeology today, so I've earned myself that Salisbury steak. No, you've got to stay focused on your diet, knowing that what you're doing is you're putting into your body healthy digestive enzymes and healthy prebiotics and probiotics. A lot of people think that they drink their Shakeology, it gives them a free pass to kind of go and eat whatever they want, and then they come back and tell me, oh my gosh, my stomach was hurting so bad. I think it's the Shakeology. And I'll say to them, okay, well, tell me what you ate. Well, I had my Shakeology in the morning like I usually do. And I'm like, okay. 
And then I went, um, did my workout, and for lunch I had like a piece of fish, and I had a piece of fish and a salad. Okay, great. And then like around midday I had a couple of cuties like you told me to, and then we went out that night, and I said, and they'll say, but I only had a few nachos. I didn't have like a whole plate. I only had like three or four nachos. I had a margarita, and I had um, a chicken and pineapple melt, but I didn't get the bun. I had it like wrapped, but it was the chicken melt with pineapple. And I, instead of using cheddar or jalapeno cheese, I used um, mozzarella cheese and I didn't put it in a bun, but I put it in one of those lettuce wraps. Okay. Well, <laughs> you would have been okay with the little wrap of the chicken and the melt, even with the cheese. But where you really messed up was most likely how many nachos did you really have? Because when you say three or four, you really mean like 10. And, and, your, how many drinks did you have? You said you had a margarita? Okay, well, I had three. Okay, so let's really talk about why your stomach is hurting. So I think people don't realize that, that Shakeology isn't a free pass. It's going to give your body the, the means to help you be successful in your nutrition journey. It's going to give you the, the feeling of satiation, which is really important, and that feeling of satiation is really going to help um, establish you on a really healthy path because people don't like to be hungry and that's the, that's another problem too is people don't like to be hungry um one of the things that i get from a lot of my challengers is that when they drink shakeology and they're going through the 21 day fix they may not be losing as many pounds but they are dropping inches like crazy and the reason why you're dropping inches like crazy is because, again, let's go back to why Shakeology and how Shakeology is formulated. It's formulated to work with your body's digestive system. So when you're working with your body's digestive system and it's getting out the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that your body needs, you are reducing the amount of fat that is being distributed amongst your cell structure in your body. And I've even noticed with myself um, – and, and with, within my own groups that I've noticed that felt like actual fat cells, like, you know, once you have a fat cell, once you have a, a fat cell, it does never go away. It shrinks and it gets bigger. But I've noticed that the dimpling in the skin has reduced tremendously. And so I did a study on that. I wanted to know why, what was causing skin dimpling, like what we call cellulite or cottage cheese. Like what is happening with that? Like why am I seeing a significant reduction in the dimpling of the skin? And again, it comes from cell structure and how the cells are, how your body's circulatory system and the amount of cells that it has inside of the circulatory system and getting out those nutrients. And so when you are able to flush, kind of like a, a, a natural flush, and you're getting everything that your body needs, um, then you're able to, it's, it's not spot reducing, but it is pulling fat from all over the body and it is reducing an overall BMI, which is great. Um, I have patients that I've been able to pull off a of cholesterol medication. I have patients that I've been able to pull off of um, their diabetic medication because of how they were diagnosed because of weight issues. Um, and so by bringing down their weight, I've been able to successfully keep them on a path of, um, of a healthier, maintaining that healthy lifestyle by incorporating Shakeology. Shakeology now is their medication. It's not something that is a prescription. It's something that they enjoy drinking. I mean, who doesn't like to drink a chocolate or vanilla shake? I mean, seriously, let's get real. Um, you know, throw a banana in there and a little scoop of peanut butter and you're like golden, right? I mean, seriously, it's dessert for breakfast. So everybody loves it. It's, it's not that people don't love it. It's that they need to understand the value of it. And the value of it's going to come from the example. It's not going to come from your lip service. And as long as you're giving people lip service, it's going to be very difficult for you to um, for you to sustain their Shakeology consumption over a long period of time. Um, a lot of people have asked me how many of your diamonds do are still diamonds or still on your team. Every single one of my diamonds, whether they're dropped or they're not dropped, are still on my team. My first five diamonds have never, ever, ever dropped, and they never will. Um, they were, they're my core part of my team. They're anchors in my team. We talk about it all the time. It's because everything that I know about Shakeology, they know too. And so when we're talking to people, we are talking the same, the same language. It is all about what we, I know that some people are, are more network marketing. Some people are more about recruiting for business and for like what people do as business. So if you, if that's how you think, and if that's kind of how you wrap your brain around this business, that's great. 
but know that there are 17,000 different ways to skin a cat, right? And I hate that phrase, but it's, it's the truth. There are so many different ways to do this business. So you really need to find what speaks passionately to you. You need to find what works best for you. And then you need to go with that. For me, I, I obviously, it's the nutrition angle. I've got coaches who have had success, major success with Shakeology where they've lost 150 pounds. So their pull is their transformation, which is phenomenal. And then they get to teach and then they get to share about how Shakeology has helped them. I have coaches that are in here that were network marketers and this is their niche. And we do things very, very differently. Their path and how they share this opportunity is very different in how I share this opportunity, but it all comes down to, you know, for them, their turnover, they're not building a huge team. They're, they're, they're all about sales, turn them and burn them, turn them and burn them. And, and that's harder for me because for me, it's about, um, I have a philosophy where if you look at building a house, let's say your business is your home. Okay. And you're laying down your foundation, you're pouring that foundation. If you look back, at your foundation and you see cracks in your foundation, you don't want to put some walls on that. You don't want to put, you don't want to build walls on that foundation because one big storm, one big storm and your house is coming knocking down and it's not, it's not going to withhold those walls. Won't they don't have a sturdy foundation to grow on. And so for me, I said, I made a decision and drew that line in the sand. I said, okay, if this is, if this is what I'm going to do, then I'm going to, I'm going to teach or I'm going to stand up on a, on a soapbox of, and this was my career. I, mean, I have, was working at a hospital. I was working with a, an amazing endocrinologist. So it was a lot harder for me. It was a bigger pill for me to swallow. I had to be sure. Like there was, I was not going to put my name on something and I was not going to, to hang my career on something unless I was sure. So for me, it wasn't about network marketing. For me, it was really about just continuing on um, helping people and growing an online business that was going to help people see the value in what we do as coaches and how what we have to offer is going has the opportunity to change their life significantly. And anybody that they know and anyone they love will change their life as well. So if you're looking at it from a network marketing standpoint, I'm going to ask you to think about it like you are now working for like uh, pharmaceutical companies work for like, you know, you work for Burlex or you can work for um, Upjohn or you can work for Bristol, you know, um, you can work for Bayer. There's a lot of different pharmaceutical companies that you can work for. So I want you to think of it as if you are a, now a pharmaceutical rep. Okay. You're, you're thinking in the network marketing standpoint. So, for me as a, as a nutrition specialist and as a dietitian technician, in order for me to feel comfortable about you going out into the marketplace or working for this pharmaceutical company, you really want to know your farm product really well. So you can speak about it with, with experience. You can speak about it with knowledge. That knowledge is going to give you the expertise that you need. So when you speak, you speak confidently. And you can offer value to somebody and it's not just about sweaty selfies and it's not just about this transformation, but you're actually being able to offer them a total solution that is going to change their life considerably should they stay the path. Okay. And, and I hope that that kind of helps you, puts it into a different perspective for you. So I'm going to give you guys, I know I did a lot of talking for about half hour, 45 minutes. So I'm going to give you guys a chance to just ask me questions and um and i will answer them as best as i can chloe where are you going okay does anyone have any questions if not i was taking a bunch of notes and i'm happy to um start asking questions does anyone have anything they want to ask no one has any questions you guys ask questions about psychology like every day on our team page but nothing for rachel huh i, I was I had a question about the first 30 minutes if you don't use it in the first 30 minutes, um, yes. are we, is it still doing the benefit, still being a beneficial? Um, so the first 30 minutes, I wouldn't drink it in the first, after the first 30 minutes. I just wouldn't. Um, the, the warning on the bag, or if it's written on the bag, it's usually written for a reason. Um, and like I said, it's because of those active enzymes, the digestive enzymes, the prebiotics and probiotics, they lose their, um, 
they lose their, I don't want to say their complete functionality, but they do lose a, a good portion of that functionality. And a lot of times it causes digestive disruption. So um, you can have a little bit of bloating. Um, some people have experienced like more of an odor of gas. Um, and that's just, everybody's body is so different. So there are rules for that. The reason why the FDA does not want anything to do with approving Shakeology is because when you're using adaptogenic herbs, adaptogenic herbs in a person's body can, can react or not react in a certain way. So there's no really way, there's no way to, um, to regulate it to a way where it's chemicals. The chemicals and herbs are very, very different. You take a chemical in and they know what this chemical compound is going to do. But what they don't know, because everyone's body is so different, is some people might experience side effects. I don't know about you guys, but when I watch like all of those commercials for drug commercials on TV and I listen to the side effects, I'm like, seriously? Why would anybody in their right mind be taking any one of these? Like, why would they not want a healthier solution? And I'm governed by, you know, I'm governed by a health license. Um, I, I believe in doctors. I come from a family of doctors. So trust me, me being a, uh, in Shakeology and network marketing has caused a lot of very interesting table topics during the holidays. Um, coming from a family of doctors and lawyers and pharmaceutical reps, um, it's very interesting at our table. But I have to say, and I always say that I don't do something unless I'm 100% sure. And if I could offer somebody, when I was working with patients and my doctor, my lead RD was telling me, just put them on, you know, put them on the cholesterol meds. I'm like, wait a second, we haven't even talked to them about their, about their diet yet. Shouldn't we try to, to like rectify their diet situation? They're like, oh, their cholesterol is way off way off the charts. I'm like, they probably didn't even study for the test. You guys know you can study for a cholesterol test, right? Like five days before your cholesterol exam, your cholesterol blood draw, no eggs, no bacon, nothing that's high in cholesterol and your oh, cholesterol is not for good. Can I just say something so funny you said that? So my husband is in good shape and he's always yeah. been in decent shape and he went in for his cholesterol like three years ago and his cholesterol was high and his doctor was like, okay, we're putting you on meds. And he was like, whoa, like, you're not even giving me a chance. And he's like, he's, you know, well within his healthy BMI. He's in good shape. And he was mm -hmm. like, and she's like, okay, you have three months. And he got it down. Like basically we just like, he doesn't eat eggs anyway, but we cut red meat at home. He started mm -hmm. on fish oil pills. Um, he started working out like more consistently and he's been fine, but it was so frustrating to him because he, he was like angry. He's like, the doctor was like, mm -hmm. oh, it's high. You're going on meds. That's it. Yeah. He was yeah. Like, what? Mm -hmm. And you know why? Because that keeps you coming into the office. I mean, God bless doctors. I love them and everything, but it keeps you coming into the office. Now you have to come into the office every, sometimes for the first week, half a year, you have to come in every six weeks to get your blood drawn because they want to make sure they're adjusting the medication to where, what you need and what you don't need. Okay. And then after that, you have to come in by year, so twice a year, every, every six months, you have to come in to get your blood drawn and get a new prescription. That's the way that farm care works. See, I love doctors because they do some really great things, but I don't like pharmaceutical companies and I don't like government in my business. And that's kind of what's happened. I mean, I, I'm sure that you guys are kind of all, some people like Obamacare, some people don't, but from a, from a physician standpoint, from a healthcare standpoint, Obamacare has taken away like the rights of doctors and being able to actually treat patients to where it puts it in the hands of the, of the insurance companies and the pharmaceutical companies. And that's not what we want. So when all this started to happen and you really start to see a decline in the amount of patients that I get to see and that I get to talk to and that I actually get to help, I was like, something has got to change because this is not the way that I want to work with people. I want to really help people. Um, you know, I, I would say that in my business now, I mean, I've the last two years, I've helped over 1,500 people. Um, it's pretty amazing what I've been able to do in such a short amount of time. I have patients that were with me here that now live overseas, that live in you know Australia and Sydney and Melbourne, and I've got tons of patients that you know ex patients that used to live in that now now live in like London and France, and they still like oh can you just you know they have U.S. accounts so like we're gonna order Shakeology, we'll send it to your house and just ship it to me. Like they're like whatever, they don't care because they want it. 
And so when they take their trips into the States, like they're ordering three or four bags of Shakeology for me at a time so they can take it home with them. And a lot of them have been able to maintain and stay off of their medications. And so just know that you, you are offering someone a solution. You're not offering them something that, you know, that has, you're not telling them that, that you're just going to do this and, and run and stay with them. You guys stay with your people, find out how they're doing. And, and even if you're building for the marketing side, even if you're building for the marketing side, there's no good pharmaceutical rep that didn't follow up with the, with the doctors that don't keep in touch with the doctors and the, the staff there at the, at the hospital or at the doctor's office. When I worked at the doctor's office, I knew every single pharmaceutical rep and they would call three or four times a week. How are things going with your patients? How are things, they would follow up. So I don't care whether or not you're going from a result-based business and you're building it like from a health standpoint or if you're building it from a network marketing standpoint, you need to follow up. You need to make sure that you are not just closing a deal, but closing and following them up because that's going to build longevity and that's going to build you a solid, good reputation, however you slice it. Um, because I'll tell you from a health standpoint, the worst thing is, is to have network, network marketer, network marketers out there who don't, who are all about the buck and not about the, not about the solution. So make sure that when you're, when you're doing this, depending on how you want to work your business, that you are balancing it out to where, however you slice it, you come out with being a person who is forthright, has the best intentions and has passion and has consideration for other people and their health. And I think if you do that, then you're going to have a really great business. So um, I know you said that your challenge groups are based a lot around nutrition and um, I've had, and I need to actually make an album of these, but like, you know, we take the ingredients of Shakeology and we'll talk about like, you know, what that specific ingredient does. But mm -hmm. like, I really liked, you know, I was excited to drink my Shakeology tomorrow, like after like hearing you talk, you know, and I actually um, did suffer from severe IBS and I tried everything I did. Like um, Advocare has a 24 day challenge that I did before I started with Shakeology. And mm -hmm. I, it, I cannot tell you how bad it was. It was like yeah. the opposite of what I wanted it to do. And I was literally living on laxative before I found Shakeology. And so it's been a huge game changer for me, but it's scary to share that. Like, cause no one wants to talk about poop. Right. And, <laughs> um, I was just wondering if you had like any outlines that you use or like anything that you could reference that I can like look at so I can come up with some good, you know, not, be, I don't want my groups to be, not that I don't want them to be, but I don't think I'm totally like, that's not who I am. Like you said, okay, you know, this is who I am, but I want to definitely integrate right. it more. I, all I have is, and I'm happy to share them with you is I, I have slides that I use. I use graphics. So whatever I use in terms of graphics, like I'll use, um, I did a graphic on goji berries. Like what, what are goji berries? How do they work in the system? Why are they important? Um, so I have like graphics that I use for my, for my challenge groups, but honestly, like Julian, I'm like, we have bi-weekly groups and I'm in my challenge groups constantly just talking, 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 talking. Um, just like I treat my coaches pages, I treat my challenge groups the exact same. So my coaches pages and my challenge group pages are not any different. I go live in my challenge group pages now or I used to do like live Zooms where I would actually give the link for them. This is for my challengers where I would give the link to them and they would have a one-on-one. -on -one. Whoever wanted to come hop on, I was on for an hour. This was the hour that I was on. And you guys can hop on and kind of have this kind of like Dr. What was that? Dr. Phil, not Dr. Phil. Who was that one? Like Sally, Jesse, Raphael. Yeah. I don't know if you guys remember that. You can get on the radio and you can ask for any question you wanted to. That was kind of what, that's what I do twice or between two and three times a week. Because I honestly find that if it's too much verbiage, people aren't going to read it. They're just not, they don't care. They yeah, have I mean, question. graphics are great. Anything you have that you would share, just so yeah. I can learn a little bit more, I would be thrilled. Um, yeah, I'm happy to send you, you have a plug in here. Um, I'm happy to, to forward you over all the graphics that I do use. Um, and then, um, you know, if your team has questions, and this is, I always say, Google is such a great friend because Google does ha help you to be able to differentiate, but so does, I mean, Beachbody's websites now, I mean, so much better than they were even a year ago. If you go back into the back office and you go to the products and the products and marketing page and you click down, each one of those tabs now really gives you great talking points 
And so Carl and I, I don't know if you saw the post that I did on the wall a couple weeks ago, but I, I kind of laid it out and I was like, okay, listen, like here I am as a dietitian and nutrition tech and I, and I'm, why aren't we sharing more? Why aren't we talking more about what Shakeology does? Why are we posting so much about, you know, about challenge packs and, and success club points and this and that? Why aren't we talking about Shakeology? We should be talking about it every single day. Like pick one thing about it and talk about it. And so I was talking like that with Carl and Carl actually messaged me and Jeff and Michael had said in the thread, like this was really this was really good, really great insight. I had a lot of coaches like Julie Boris and Shay, like they all reached out to me and were like, that was really powerful. We're so glad you actually ponied up and said something because I was like, I'm really nervous. I'm probably going to throw up and probably walk away from this. I may not even post this. But I just really want to know like what's going on and why aren't we sharing about this? And so Carl and I had a pretty candid conversation. And I said, you know, he's like, we just have to be so careful with what we can say it does and what, we, what it doesn't do. I'm like, but just like anything, when you watch a stupid advertisement, they're going to tell you, you know, this can cause this, 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 and this side effect. But if you offer it as a total solution, you're actually giving people the references of the herbs. And so they can make a, a decision, an informed decision. Otherwise, you're going to get coupled in with Advocare, Herbalife, which by the way, the fourth ingredient in Herbalife is tree bark. Anyone who knows this on Herbalife, you need to tell them that the fourth ingredient is tree bark. And that's pretty organic, if you ask me, but I don't know what kind of nutritional value that tree bark has. So, so you got Herbalife, you have Arbon, you have Isogenics, which is just caffeine and sugars, just in a different fancy name. Um, and they're all saying that they are a weight loss supplement or an energy supplement. But what they can't say that they are, and none of them are, is a meal replacement. None of them replace a meal, and that's the only reason why Shakeology is standalone. The one that's still standing and will always stand is because the Academy of Dietitians and Nutritionists actually approve it as a meal replacement. So, um, you know, a lot of elderly people drink Ensure. There's no reason that they can't replace their Ensure for Shakeology. We should be in every single senior living home, every single one. If you're a network marketer and that's something that you like to do, you guys have some footwork to do. You guys should be going to every single, you know, elderly living home and talking about replacing their insurance supplement that they give their patients and replacing it with Shakeology. They gave me insure when I was in the ICU and when I sure was did. in rehab. And the second ingredient is corn syrup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's terrible. I was like, I drank it when I was in the ICU because I was like not coherent. And then as soon as I like perked up and started reading it, I was like, where's my cafe latte Shakeology? Like I'm not drinking this stuff. Um, it, it is, the ingredients are terrifying in it. Right. So, yeah. All right, girlies. And, and Bruce, I see you there, Bruce. And then if anything else before we let Rachel go, Rachel, if you could just send those over to me, that'd be great. This was amazing. I mean, I have pages of notes. Um, so right. thank you so much. I hope you guys found it helpful yes. and I yeah. appreciate it. I'm happy to, maybe one of these days I'll hop on into one of your, one of your challenge groups and I'll go live for you and, and, uh, blow up your challenge groups a little bit. Yeah. I'm happy to sit in my wheelchair and do a workout for you and your, <laughs> your challenge group if you want. That's about all I can do. I actually right do. And I do live workouts too in my challenge group. That's always fun too. Like just to kind of like, Hey guys, I'm working out. Do you want to work out with me? And just give them a Zoom link and let them jump in and do a workout with me. I mean, why not? You know, you're working out. Why not have the more the merrier? I haven't done yeah. it. The only time I've done that is like when there's a product launch and we get the sneak peek. Um, yeah, I did that for quarter yeah. force too. That's cool. Okay. Well, thank you so much. This was awesome. Um, really right. different. My, my daughter, Chloe. Can you say hi, Chloe? Hi, Chloe. <laughs> I'm really excited. <laughs> yeah. She drinks a Shakeology every morning. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And that's another thing too, is like their kids can drink it. It's not like it's something, it's not a diet aid. It's, it's a meal replacement. So your kids can drink it too. Okay. Good. So, all right. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Thank Talk you. to you later. Bye. You're welcome. Bye.